Hi there guys and welcome to Dino's Vault once again. This past Sunday I was invited for DSK Benelli Hyderabad's first anniversary ride event and boy what a Sunday and fun day it was. The perfectly cool weather, the gentle breeze blowing across the streets and the vast open stretches of road, the perfect setting to push a powerful bike to its limits. It had been raining the whole night and I was a bit skeptical as to whether the ride would happen in all actuality. Fortunately, the skies cleared up by more Morning and I did land up at the dealership. The ride event came in the wake of Benelli Hyderabad celebrating their first year anniversary and also winning two prestigious awards, namely the best dealer of the year as well as best dealer in customer satisfaction. Now that I guess is really commendable. We did have the Benelli owners arriving on time to ride and celebrate together the spirit of biking because that's what Benelli bikes are all about, offering raw, pure and unadulterated fun. Now I have already reviewed their entire lineup including the newly launched TNT25 and you can find those reviews in my motorcycle reviews section in the section wise playlists. Now getting back to the event, the owners were all geared up and ready to launch with their respective power machines. I too was offered to ride a 600i which is one of my all time favorite bikes for the brutal performance and the epic background score it has on offer. So off we went and I need to mention here that I was riding with a pillion on board to capture the action shots. All of us were heading to the Banyan Tree Retreat, a resort located on the Sri Silam Highway. The weather was just about perfect as I went blasting across the streets on my Benelli 600i. The open skies, the vast stretches of empty roads and the cool weather really allowed me to enjoy the ride thoroughly. I had had a very hectic week with multiple shoots and also I was a bit mentally disturbed with my grandma passing away just a few days back. However, this ride served as a perfect therapy and a form of meditation where I could just calm my senses, relax, ease out and also rejuvenate myself completely. Though I had gone just to cover the event, the ride did help me get out of a rut. I am really thankful to Benelli Hyderabad for that. Long story short, we did eventually reach our destination which is the Banyan Tree Retreat. The ambience and the atmosphere as we entered the place was perfectly soothing to the eyes as well as the mind. The arrangements were very well planned with nothing being out of sorts. Just as we arrived, breakfast was ready and the owners too were getting nearly cannibalistic. So we proceeded to enjoy the wide variety of breakfast spread we had on offer. While having breakfast, I too could catch up with some of my good old friends from the biking fraternity. One new acquaintance I could easily connect with was Mr. Abhishek from xbhp.com, an online portal that needs absolutely no introduction since it has been around for ages and I myself have grown up reading articles on their portal. I did manage to have a small chat session with him and this is how it turned out. Hey there guys, welcome to Dino's Vault once again. Uh, today we are at the uh, Hyderabad Benelli event. Uh, they have turned uh, one year old and I have with me uh, Mr. Abhishek from xbhp.com, uh, a very well known name in the Indian automotive scene. It needs absolutely no introduction. I myself have uh, grown up uh, reading articles on xbhp. So welcome Abhishek. Uh, so we are glad you. to have you here. Glad uh, to meet you too. And uh, I have a few uh, questions for you. Sure. So first up, uh, what makes you a biker? Like what interests you most about the bikes? What fascinates you about the bikes? I would I would kind of say that uh, seven years ago or eight years ago when I probably went on one of my first long rides, the feeling of being one with the nature, as a, as a tourer, the feeling of being one with the nature and to be able to enjoy nature, nature much more eloquently than compared to a car, that's what got me hooked onto bikes. And since then it has started that I started, started touring anywhere and the passion has just grown from then. And from then it has been since I've done some India rides, being all across the country, and still the, the, the distance covered is not enough. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's great. And uh, since we are here at the uh, Benelli event, uh, can you just uh, throw light about the uh, Benelli brand? Like, what distinctive, uh, what different does it have to offer here in the Indian biking scene sure. compared to other brands? Exactly. I mean, uh, someone who has been so to say involved with biking, he understands what the brand of Benelli means. They have been very historically known, uh, very impressive in the races earlier throughout. But now they being coming to India and sensing Indian, Indian market as a good opportunity to establish them as a brand, it's great. It's great to have some responsible global brands coming into Indian market and offering us the bikers the, the choice of selection much more of good, reliable, nice bikes to go across the country to do whatever that you like to do on a bike. And brands like Benelli and others who have now who now see India as a good opportunity 
it's great and the biking scenario in india is bound to improve with these brands investing so much in india you know and uh, so uh, which uh, model interests you the most in the entire uh, benelli lineup well i am particularly biased towards touring my, my my passion for motorcycle lies in touring especially in the far off places okay so obviously i would go with the 600 gt i've done a lot of kilometers on it and it's a beautiful reliable very sturdy bike very planted so yeah for me uh, one of the, the 600 gt has to be the one which i would choose uh, compared to other bikes in the lineup that benelli offers okay one last question uh, because you are an experienced uh, yeah. biker and a avid uh, tourer so a uh, piece of advice to wanna be bikers and uh, wanna be tourers out there yeah guys i mean uh, there's no this is no rocket science to ride a bike we all know how to ride a bike the only thing is that we keep spreading the message of riding responsibly and for me responsibility comes from knowing your bike the because the our limits end much before the limits of the bike end so we should know what is safe what is not and be within our limits so that we are able to enjoy the ride as well as the nature and not enter into some sort of dangerous territories that kind of leaves a bad taste in our mouth so know what your bike can do before that know what you can do and then ride, ride, ride responsibly that's all that i have to say to anyone who likes to tour track whatever it is know your limits know your bike's limits and you'll be all good thank you so that's awesome uh, from abhishek i hope you heard it uh, clear loud and clear that you should know your limits as well as know your bike's limits so let's take it as a wonderful piece of advice thank you abhishek thank you dino for uh, joining us uh, we wish you all the best thank and you so much. Uh, many more uh, miles and smiles ahead i hope to see you all thank you so thank much you. So wishing Abhishek all the best. I got back to the meetup where Mr. Vikas, who is one of the directors, he started up the proceedings, thanking each and every one who had taken time out to participate in this ride and also celebrate the occasion together. He spoke about how humbly they started out a year back and what all they have managed to achieve so far. He thanked the owners for always being supportive and understanding. He also pledged to offer the best services to their customers in the days to come. He had all appreciation and applauded the efforts of. of hyderabad benelli owners who started up an owners group named as hbo yes my dear friends now hbo not only stands for home box office it also stands for hyderabad benelli owners he also spoke about the two awards benelli hyderabad received at the recently held dealers meet in goa one was for the best dealer and the other for being the best in customer satisfaction then the most interesting part was that he also spoke about the upcoming models that are slated to launch in the next 12 months Now most of us have already seen uh, Benelli displaying their upcoming models at the Auto Expo. All along the only glitch with Benelli bikes was the lack of ABS and it appears DSK Benelli have heard and heeded to our plea which is why we're going to get the 600i ABS variant soon. Depending on the response to this model Benelli will contemplate adding ABS to the rest of its lineup here in India. Also coming out soon is the Tornado 302 which is a fully fed super sport rendition of the TNT 300. I I know most of us are really raring to have a go at this bike then he also spoke about the two very interesting concepts showcased at the auto expo uh, which were the TRK 502 which is a proper dual sport and adventure sport touring bike the final and the most hair raising concept of course was the Leon Chino which gets the same 500 cc mill as that of the TRK 502 and classifies as a scrambler model next mr rohit the admin of hbo group came out and shared about their ride to IBW it is really commendable that these guys could travel nearly 650 kilometers on their bikes all the way to the India Bike Week he attributed this achievement to the complete support they got from the Hyderabad dealership in the form of the service and sales team accompanying them supporting them and sorting out any issue they encountered on route to the IBW all the heroes who are an integral part of the owners group started showing up one by one and it was really great to see that the true spirit of biking was shared among all of them because these guys who were once strangers have now become the closest of brothers thanks to the common binding factor that holds them together which is of course the love for bikes and riding together Well then it was time to head back to the dealership the ride back was a bit hectic because the sun had come out and was at its shining best the traffic jam in between had us puffing and panting however one thing i noticed suddenly was that the bike was holding good all along the morning ride was just about perfect but even on our way back with bumper to bumper traffic 
the bike wasn't complaining all that much. I did feel the engine heating up in the heavy traffic but not to the extent of putting me in a spot of bother. The throttle action was a bit heavy which means I had to ring it a fair bit before getting it to respond the way I wanted it to. But again that's the way the bike has always been. And yes of course how can I ever forget that legendary and iconic and reverberating exhaust sound. Oh man that is something exceptional and unique that holds true to the Benelli bikes. The 600i that I was riding had dual IXIL aftermarket exhausts and man it was roaring like a T-Rex. Well I guess that's about it for now guys. I thank DSK Benelli Hyderabad once again for inviting me to this event and I wish them all the best for their future endeavors. I'm also leaving the respective Facebook page links to DSK Benelli Hyderabad as well as the HBO or Hyderabad Benelli owners group just in case you want to get in touch with them. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. So until next time, this is Dino saying ciao. Take care, God bless and ride safe.